What is going on everyone? It's Chris aka The Nerd Dad and today I've got a new lightsaber for you guys. Let's check it out. What is going on everyone? It's Chris aka The Nerd Dad. Before I get started, as usual, I just want to say thank you and welcome to all my new subscribers. If you guys aren't already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I do review all things nerdy, unboxing, trailer reviews, trailer everything, trailer reactions, and oh, Spider-Man No Way Home comes out this weekend, and you best believe I'm going. Now, before I get started, I do want to address one little minor thing. Now, my last video, I did mention that my family and I were going to Disneyland, and we did, and it was an amazing time. Uh, if you guys haven't written Rise of the Resistance, oh, that is a ride. You guys have to ride it. That thing was incredible. I felt like I was actually in space. Is that weird? Now, Unfortunately, after that, something did happen. A bit of incident happened. If you guys are following me on my Instagram at the Nerd Dad, I will link that description below. Uh, I did post something regarding something that happened. I'm not going to get into the description of what actually happened because it is an open investigation, unfortunately. But everything is on its way to more positive things. Everything's on its way to a new journey, and I'm ready for this journey to begin. And with that being said, this journey starts with a new lightsaber. Anyways, I know the reason why you guys are here. So today I'm bringing you guys my 89 Sabers Fallen V2 from the video game Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. This thing is beautiful and this thing is just, it's gone through so many hands that I can't even tell you. Three to be specific. But I got this off of Saber Bay and as soon as I placed the order, I reached out to Christopher Royal from Royal Custom Armory. And he does some amazing work when it comes to powder coating. I will leave a description to his Facebook page so we guys can reach out to him in case you guys want to get work from him. Highly recommend it. I'm telling you guys, highly, highly recommend it. Now, after talking to him for a little bit, I asked him if I could ship it over to him. He gave me the price and he said it's fine. So then what I ended up doing is I just reached out to Saber Bay and I said, hey, can you just ship it to another address? So that would go straight to Chris. Uh, Chris did powder coat this upper section here, which looks incredible. And after doing that, he shipped out the pommel piece over to my guy, uh, Austin, over at Stereo Workshop. Uh, you guys may remember Austin. I actually posted a video of my SKIG that he did for me, and I sent it out to him. And he does an incredible job, okay? So I can't even tell you just how amazing he is as well. I will leave a description in his Instagram and his Facebook in case you guys want to get work by him, because again, I highly recommend him. And so what he did was he took the fins and he bent them back using a torch after doing that, he took it to a grinder, added a couple claw marks here, and then shipped it right back over to Christopher Royal to where he can powder coat the rest of it. After doing that, it went right back to Austin, and Austin added some additional weathering to it so it looks just like in the video game. This thing's incredible. Now, after doing that, uh, Austin went ahead and took this, and he shipped it out to, yep, Jeremy of Solo Sabres. Yes, Jeremy, of course, has been doing a lot of my installs lately with the Profi V2. Um, I've seen the videos out what he did with these hilts and I was just I was like, you know what? That's that's where we're gonna go and that's the install I wanted So I took uh, sent it to him and he installed the crap out of it and damn this thing is Amazing now. I'm sure you guys want to see a closer look. So let's take a closer look right now All right, so here is a much closer look of the saber itself You can see just the, the powder coating that Chris did just made this thing look immaculate almost like brand new as if you know this is something that uh, it was a Gerald DePaul from the game received when you first got the saber. Now the opposite side is where it changes. This is what um, Austin and Christopher both did. So Chris did go ahead and powder coat all this, but then this is where Austin really made this thing shine to give it the accuracy from the game. You can see the three claw marks that he created here, and then the bent fins back here from the damaged pommel from the video game, and also added the uh, exposed wires. One little thing that Chris did that I really liked uh, which really drew me to, to his, uh, his services was that copper strip right there. That is in the Ogdo Killer as well. And this was also in the video game. So basically what he wanted to do was mimic what was in an Ogdo Killer and bring it over to the 89 Sabers Fallen V2. You can see he did put in the black in, in the inside here and also the individual lines right here. And the amount of detail he really put in that is incredible. Now, I did say that this was installed by Jeremy of Solar Sabers. So we will show the install here, what he did for me. This is a two button setup with the activation up top and the auxiliary in the back. He did say this one is hung, held by uh, like two, three um, little 
screws or whatever and it's he did put some loctite or something like that just to keep it on there because if that comes off it's gonna be a bad day he did go ahead and put fallen on the side here and then solo sabers right down there for him and then also the smuggler outpost emblem back there because he is part of smuggler's outpost there is a single neopixel right in there to accent the bottom and that's what lights up this bottom to give it that broken circuitry look it is a 18650 battery with movable battery. You can kind of see back there, there in the inside, right in there, there is the micro USB that is where the profi board is being housed. It is in there, so it is a little bit of process to get it out, but it's nothing too bad. Uh, I think I've done it enough times to where I know how to do it, and I think I'm done doing it because I have set this hilt exactly the way I want it. Go and put a battery in here. All right, so spring side is negative. I like to keep my stickers on there so I don't forget. Spring side, spring side. And we'll put this pommel right back in here. Now I did use um, different saber makers and different sound fonts on here to create what I wanted to make the saber to be. Now the main one I'm using is going to be the Survivor bundle, which is by Kyberphonic. So in his bundle that he has, he has all the different colors from the game, and then each one has a slightly different sound. So I wanted to make sure I capture that with this lightsaber. Um, I also used, um, on, it's, was it Lord Reaver, I believe? Lord Reaver, the ninth sister. I used his, and actually I used Kyberphonics the second as well. Um, and I wanted to use all the saber fonts that we, we hear in the game, and I put it all in here. And the final one I used was Banished. That is by Jade DeLorean. I can see if I can find the... the um, the link to that one that one was a little harder to find but i found that that was a very very different type of saber font and that was something i wanted to use so it has a pretty awesome prion i would definitely be showing the prion for that because that it's pretty awesome so the first one uh the first one i believe is going to be the blue color which is going to be from obviously the game so let's see it's blue uh, we are in using a cc sabers neopixel on the inside the pcb and you can see that broken circuitry in the back let me see if I can turn off all these lights There we go, a perfect shot. Smooth swing, of course. I use force, force effects on this one. Also, swing on. Second one, I believe is green. Or blue, no, it's a type of other blue, I forgot what color it was, but it's a different colored blue. Still have the circuitry in there. This one's green. It's kind of hard to understand what she says sometimes. I forgot what color this indigo, indigo. It's kind of a bluish color, bluish purple. Still have that broken circuitry in there. Magenta. Orange, this is a different one. Purple. Slightly different sound as well. So each one does have a slight distinct sound difference. That's why it's kind of worth getting all of them. Yellow. Okay, this is the cool one. So this is red. So this is red. Red only comes if you get the entire pack. The pack is 60 bucks, um, and then individual uh, saber fonts are gonna be 10 bucks, but you can buy them individual. You just can't buy the red one um, individually. So you have to get the entire thing in order to get the red one, and it's actually pretty awesome to have the red one because we do see that in the video game for a few minutes. So with the red, is red. And again, force effects. I believe I have music on this too. Yep. Red. 
that's a nice little uh, Easter egg to have in there. So in my opinion, it is worth getting the entire pack so you can get that red. So after this, I did do a couple things. I did take um, some of the quotes that Kyberphonics adds to this pack. And so what I did here was the next one. I'm Cal Kestis. This is obviously another Cal Kestis. This is a blue. I prefer the blue in the game. And um, even though I'm a Sith Lord, I prefer the blue in the game. So this one is the blue, but I added quotes of Cal Kestis and other characters from the game throughout your uh, progression throughout the game. So this one here is a nice little crayon. Going somewhere. Nice little crayon to go with it. A couple quotes. So again, Profi doesn't, isn't perfect. So when we do quotes and then it will repeat a lot of them, I'm really hoping either in an update in the future or possibly in the Profi V3, it goes in order of whatever you have set. So I kind of hope it does that, or I don't know. That's just me, I hope it does. The next one I think is... Okay. This is Mount Up. All right, let's get this going. Okay, so anyway, so with this one here, it is Malikos. So this is your battle with Malikos that you have about three quarters into the game or a little further than that. And it does have a prion and it is in blue. So if you hear the prion. It's time for something new. You and me. We can build something different. Something better. No. Dathomir will be your grave. And then also features quotes from that part of the, uh, the game. Better get ready for a fight. Persistence of the force is my ally. Get up, Cal Kestis. You're not dead yet. But it's never over, Malikos. And then, of course, it's the pre-off that we just heard. All right, this next part is going to be a spoiler. So if you guys have not seen or played the game and you haven't seen the ending, Vader shows up at the end. So I just ruined it right there. So if you guys haven't seen it, spoiler is ruined now. But this is the part of the, where you see Vader. And I think they have a pre on to it, I believe. There is music from that scene. All right, so the next one. So this one's actually a really cool one. Actually, let me get my blade for this one because this is something that you guys have to see. Uh, this one is Second Sister. I believe. This is also by Kyberphonics. So this one's the second. Second sister. Let's see if I can fit my blade in here. I did add a, I did use a FET 263's blade style for this. Let me see here. Okay, so this one is second. This is gonna be by Kyberphonics. This one is just awesome. This one's badass. I love this. The next one is going to be, I believe, Ninth Sister. So this one is by Lord Reaver. This is off of saberfont.com.
And you can see here the broken circuitry in the back still there. So this is another interesting, this is Banished. This is by Dig DeLorean. Um, it took me a while to find this one because I saw it on the Facebook group. And let me turn, turn this light off because this is actually a pretty awesome one. It's the Prion that really makes it, so. Oh. That is awesome. And then there's also a pre off. And I forgot I have one more Saber font on here. I cannot remember for the life of me who made it. I'm gonna see if I can find it. I will link it in the description below if I can find it. But those of you who is a Kingdom Hearts fan, this was something I had to have on here. And uh, it took me a while to understand the coding for Profi and for some reason I had trouble getting this to a white blade. But your boy figured it out, I got it. And it is from Kingdom Hearts. And you can't use this Saber font without having this song. This just completes it. And this I will keep the blade on. Still broken. I got out of the blade so you guys can hear the smooth swing on this one. This is awesome. You still see all the fonts, all the fonts still have the broken circuitry. So the broken circuitry, you can still see it goes on there like it did in the game. So total, I've been able to fit a ton of fonts on here. I made it to the, the you know the uh, specifications that I wanted for this: the smooth swing, the fonts. You know, even just taking the time to really put in the quotes that I really, really wanted. And so, to me, as of right now, this is the perfect 89 Sabers V2, and that is thanks to the Big Three. So this about covers my review of this lightsaber. I mean, this thing is incredible. I love this thing. This is my unicorn of my collection just like it is my SKIG. And you know what? This thing could not have been done if it had not been done by the big three. And the big three, I mean of Jeremy Solo Sabres, Austin at Asteria Workshop, and of course, of course uh, Christopher Royal over at uh, Royal Custom Armory. I cannot tell you guys just how grateful I am for you guys for going out of your way to shipping it to different people and then doing what it is I asked you guys to do and you guys just nailed it perfectly. Um, I've seen quite a few different um, Fallen V2s out there on Facebook and uh, Instagram and uh, YouTube and stuff like that. And I, I honestly, I look at mine and I'm, you know what? You can't beat this. You can't. You can't beat it. So I am eternally grateful for you guys. I appreciate you guys very, very much. This is not the last time you guys will be hearing from me because you guys already know that I am going to ask you guys for more stuff. And of course, pay you guys for it. And guys, if you guys have any questions regarding their services, please reach out to them. Please, re please uh, reach out to me. I have no problems answering your, your questions. And I mean, that about covers it. I mean, I love this thing. I recommend it to anyone who may want Cal Kestis' lightsaber. I know there's the Ogdo Killer, but I've also heard some things about it that people didn't like. And I, know, no, I do know someone who ended up having Ogdo Killer and they sold it just to get this exact tilt and they got it powder coated by Christopher Royal as well. So. If you guys aren't already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I made a decision that once I hit 300 subscribers, I am going to do another giveaway. It's going to be a much bigger giveaway than it was last time. It will be a Star Wars related giveaway. 
Now, I will issue you guys a challenge. If I can hit 200 by the end of the year, that's 35 subscribers away from now, I would do another giveaway instead of the 300. Or I might do another one at 300. I haven't made a decision yet. But it will be a bigger giveaway than it was last time. So guys, we gotta crank those numbers up. So, if you guys don't already subscribed, please subscribe. Right there, right down there, subscribe button. Just press the button, it takes two seconds. Two seconds! Now, uh, I will be giving updates on how far I am to that 200 mark on my Instagram. So if you guys are not following my Instagram, at the nerd dad, I will link that down below, guys, so you guys can keep track of where we're at. So, with that being said, guys, I hope you guys have a great day, and may the force be with you.